Blimey Australia vs Flash. What's up, people? Strike here from STBIST, and today we're gonna be looking at Fly Me OS. And this is the boot animation of Fly Me OS. It is just like a cloud symbol of a building rotating together. So, first off, let's talk about user interface. It is the lock screen, it is pretty stock. Just like wall pop, you're gonna be sliding up, and it's gonna get unlocked. Of course, if you're gonna be moving it to right, the camera is gonna get open, and you can take a snap if you want. So, as my ROMs, there are some glitches. I'm sorry for those glitches. In your Flyme OS, they might not be there. So first off, let's talk about notification bar. So the user interface is very smooth and crispy. You don't have an app drawer. So that might be a flaw for some people. But still, it is good. It makes me the, it gives me the look of the iPhone, the feeling of the iPhone in the hand. The animations do look very smooth and they open up good. So let's talk about <laughs> notification uh, bar this time. So notification bar is standard, a uh, stock, not really extra, but you don't have a settings thing, settings uh, shortcut, but still you have expansion and you have many toggles as well, which are useful to be honest. And next off, we're going to be looking at some basic applications like Calculator. Calculator is not team, not very much team, just except for the colors. It looks good. This user interface is heavily themed as it's a made to custom Fly Me OS. So you're going to be having notes as well. Notes are good. It's not a compulsion. Some people might use it, some people might not. So it's not for everybody, to be honest. And. You're going to be looking at the cal uh, calendar at some time. So calendar is not themed in mine. It might be themed in yours. Because this might not be the safest in the clearest version of Fly Me OS. It's not very much themed. It's stuff like Lower Pop. And this is the clock. Even the clock apps be themed very nicely. And... Next off, we're going to be looking at the keyboard. The keyboard is not the swipe keyboard, it's the stock keyboard, and there's a lot of gap between the keys. So my fingers are a bit huge for the display, so I miss the alphabets all the time. And the keyboard is not good. I recommend you to take something like a Swift key or a King keyboard, because they do do a fine job. So let's talk about multitasking for some time. Multitasking is like this, it gives me a nice feeling, and it does open up apps really fast. And even you can look at it, it feels really nice when you multitask like this. This is, you have a security app provided in those, which is good, and of course, just like other Chinese phones, even this is a product of a security app. This is a nice one. And you provide it with some app center and some gaming places which are not useful as you have Play Store in them. And this is the theming, you have a theming feature but it is not very effective. Theming is not as good as you can expect from Cyanogen. It is alright and just themes, few apps like Dialer and Launcher and uh, Notification bar of course and lock screen not huge elements of teaming but still they are good you're getting something which is better than pure stock experience so i'm happy for that at least just got an iphone team right down there in the team store and most of the content are in chinese i'm not a chinese speaker either but still it is not good having in chinese i don't expect chinese for this so you can look at the team, they are they exactly look like a replica of the iPhone in the dialer as well. It looks most probably like the replica of the iPhone as well. You can look at it, it looks like a lot not exactly team, but it is fine. At least you're getting something. Even you're not supposed to get that. So let's talk about camera. The camera user interface is good and nice to hold, nice to use, simple to use as well. Tap to focus is there. And the sickest part of this is 
you have many modes and stuff. The secret, secret part of this camera app is that when you hold it on landscape and you went on, you go into settings, you're gonna be right down pushed into portrait mode. This happens every single time. You can look at it. When you hold it in landscape, you're, you don't get toggles in landscape mode. You're, you get toggles in portrait mode. So it is a very bad thing. And I'm expecting my Joe will fix it in the future updates. So let's look at the photographs. The quality is good. The camera does perform pretty nicely. I mean the camera application. Processing does also work fine. So a thumbs up for the camera in here. So next off we're gonna be looking at the settings app. Nothing really special in settings except for one feature. So here are accounts and sim settings, everything same, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound. It is very simple to use as well. Sound and everything else. Display and this security and this is I so you have a screen lock as well, so it's like an inbuilt app lock provided in there. So it is a good feature as well. So you don't have to install third party locks. Accessible apps, yeah, apps also are there. Just pretty standard, nothing special. If you go onto apps, you're gonna be finding Smart Touch. This is an awesome feature, so you can use that small thing, just like a touch assist for iPhones. You can just choose it off. It is really good. But of course, it's not easy to know you. Person with battery life on, it can give you nine hours of standby. So imagine. With 100% on, it will be an awesome thing to be honest. And only two options for it in there, dialer and dialer and messaging. Messaging is good as well. It does work a pretty nice job of doing that. You can exit out of it of course. And performance is pretty smooth and good as well to be honest. And it's like the performance in out of which on the first boot I got a 1.1 GB free uh, 2 GB, it is really good. And it is really fast, and you can just play out with applications. You look at me playing fast, all the applications, they look pretty fast. And multitasking is an ease with this fly maze Zeus fly me OS. Everything is smooth, and it is very fast. You can look at me opening so many applications in the video. So many applications. It does do a pretty fine job when it comes to task and multitasking. So guys, honestly, you should flash this because it's got some nice performance. It's got a nice graphics. It's got some awesome animations and you should flash it except for very few bugs which are optional they might not be in your device guys thanks for watching and peace out